Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to make this card that was a project at a workshop I had today. This card uses some designer series paper, it's called Gingham Garden, and the flower is from a stamp set called Flower Shop. You're going to start with Daffodil Delight cardstock, and it measures eight and a half by five and a half. You're going to score down the middle at four and a quarter. Now on this one, I decided to emboss the front with the perfect polka dots embossing folder. So it just gives it a little bit of texture. We have our designer series paper. This is cut five and a half inches by two. So you can get 12 of these strips out of one 12 by 12 piece of designer series paper. We're going to put adhesive on the back and you're just going to run it right along all the edges. And these flowers have a little stem, so you want to make sure that your paper isn't upside down. I'm going to slide it all the way to the edge of the cardstock. We're going to add some 1 8 inch olive taffeta ribbon. The color green that's in this paper uh, is actually pear pizzazz, but you don't have to be so matchy matchy. This old olive ribbon is going to work just fine. So I'm going to slide it under, and I'm going to tie a simple knot. I can put it in the right place as soon as I tie it. So just cross it over, hold it with your middle finger, switch middle fingers, make an X, tucking that in, and pull it. We're going to trim off the excess ribbon, and then we're going to kind of play around with it and see where we want this to end up. So because it goes all the way around the card, it's pretty easy to um, scoot it and to get it exactly where you want it. We're going to stamp a greeting. This is actually from a stamp set called Lacey and Lovely. We're going to ink it up in Island Indigo. My stamp is already on the acrylic block. It's okay if I stamp it upside down or crooked because I'm going to punch it. So I'm going to go more to the right of the paper. I'm going to use a two and a half inch circle punch. Hold your punch upside down, slide in your paper from the top, and scoot it over. I'm scooting more to the right so I have more room on the left side for the flowers. We're going to pop that up with dimensionals. And I'm going to set this more to the top and to the right. The flowers we're going to stamp are from a stamp set called Flower Shop. We're going to use the same Island Indigo ink. And I've already punched a couple of these out using the pansy punch. So the pansy punch, it looks like these petals are all the same. They're not. That bottom one is, well actually they're all different, but you want to try to stamp your image with that petal towards the bottom of the paper. So when you slide it in, it lines up without uh, too much fussing. Get that angle just so, and then give that a squeeze. We're going to curl the petals of the flowers with the bone folder. Hold the paper in your left hand, if you're right-handed, bone folder in the other hand, and you're going to press against this thumb. And you're just going to press it just to lightly curl those petals so they don't lay too flat. So you're just going to repeat that on all three. We're going to add the flowers to the card using dimensionals. And you can put one dimensional in the center of each flower. Okay, so now we need to add a little bit of greenery. So the leaves are punched from the Bird Builder Punch, and we're going to use this part right here. You could also use the Bird Wing for leaves, but I like that one. So what I like to do is cut my cardstock into one inch strips, or maybe one and a quarter, somewhere around there. So I can just tuck in and only punch what I need. I don't need this long stem here either. So I'm just going to set it like this and push it down. And you can actually do a couple before you remove them. I think you can get about three before it gets kind of crowded here. But just keep pushing it in and then hold it down so you can remove these three leaves. Now the easiest way to add these little guys is with glue dots. The Stamping Up glue dots are on the outside of the paper so make sure you keep a tail long enough to cover it so it doesn't stick to the inside of the box. 
and we're just going to tuck these in wherever we think we need it. So just press the leaf to the glue dot and lift it up and tuck it under. So let's add a little bit of sparkle in the center of these flowers. We'll use some rhinestones. And normally I would use a pokey tool to get under the adhesive of the rhinestones, but I'm not quite sure where that is. So I'm going to use the point of my scissors. Just open up your scissors a little bit and use a point just to get under there. You want to make sure you get the adhesive that's on the back of the rhinestone. So now you can just put that in the center and press it down. Now if you wanted to, see that little O for the hello? You could actually add one of these tiny ones right in the center. There you go. Quick and easy card using some pretty designer series paper, a couple of punches, and some bling. I hope you enjoyed this project. For more ideas, you can find me at keenancreations.com. Thanks. Have a great day.